pets at home too. I've got, I don't know if you guys are animal lovers. I'm a big time animal lover. I have all kinds of critters running around my place. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got a bird at home and I have a fish who's really cool. Um, this one's around. Um, that's it, I guess, just the bird and the fish uh, at this point. But th they keep me busy though because. Um, I, don't, I don't buy my pets at the pet store, and I don't think you should, because you don't know where they came from at a pet store. So I always wild catch my animals. I've got a seagull and a halibut. I do not recommend a gull. They are biters. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even try and touch them anymore. I just, I try and get them to fly to my gloved hand. Which is really frustrating because you stand like this for like an hour and all that happens is a little poop. And I, I was focusing on the bird. I didn't realize I had to go that bad. But, uh, <laughs> that was a dumb joke right there. I'm gonna apologize <clears throat> for that. But seriously though, fish are very difficult to, to keep alive and stuff. There's a lot of rules to go with, with keeping fish. One of the first things that I learned is you, you got to keep a fish wet pretty much 100% of the time. <laughs> so otherwise they're out of that optimum environment. They will die on you. <laughs> <laughs> 